make sure you subscribe before I knock your ass out. <laughs> What's good, Knicks gang, man? And we got an epic story for you guys today. Ooh, wee. You know what I'm saying? But if you ain't got a smile on your face, put a smile on your face. Nothing but positive vibes out here. You get what I'm saying? The sun is on my face. I'm feeling light skin. That's good. Anyways, the story is about, you know what I'm saying, how DDG met Kennedy. We're going to be reacting to it. You get what I'm saying? And then I'm going to give my opinion at the end. And I know a lot of DDG fans going to come over here. And I just want to let y'all know, this is why I am so, you know, respected around people. Why well, I get a lot of respect. Now, let's start this video. Let's watch it, analyze it. And we're going to talk about it at the end. Play the clip. So I'm like, all right, cool. So he hit me up in the morning. So my manager is, if if my manager would have never hit me up in the morning, I would have never met Kennedy, period. It was this little breakfast brunch thing, right? And this is 100% the truth, no sugar coat. I forgot what we talked about in Kennedy video. but So I slid there. Um, who else was there? Chino was there. I think Nix was there. And Nate and some other people, my manager. So we in there chilling or whatever. So I ended up uh, hanging out with Kennedy again. And this is a fun fact that y'all know about. So this is back when Nix was single too, right? Hold up. Now, let me explain my story before he go on. I just got to VidCon, you get what I'm saying? Your boy thirsty, you know what I'm saying? I want some booty. It's crazy, you know? You trying to get the VidCon, you thinking it's about to be a bunch of girls and stuff that you can all hump on, you know? I know I'm talking type crazy, but you know what I'm saying? When you visit another state that you've never been in before, you want to go crazy. You want to go ham, right? You want to just start, you know, putting your little um, your little sausage in packages that you've never put in before. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of exotic things out here that you can explore. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. So... Let him tell a story, and uh, we'll be back to talking. Go. Now, Nix is Nix is in happy in love with with um with um Selma. Hey, it's Sama. Come on, DDG. Come on, Sama. I don't know why he say Selma for. Anyways, get back to it. One, two, three, go. And I'm happily in love with Kennedy, so this is not matter, but. Nix is a real dude. This is how you know somebody is real, man. So, um, I was supposed to hang out with with Kennedy, Seria, and them at Universal Studios, right? But I was late. Now, Kennedy, now Kennedy was not mine. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't. But Nix knew that I was trying to mess with her and trying to talk to her or whatever. Hey. I Okay, now let's explain this little story real quick. So we had went to VidCon. We saw them all grouped up in a little group, right? So I was just chilling. You know, I'm always happy. I'm always happy. I'm smiling, just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make friends. You know, they was, you know, being some little savages. You know, my little bros, you know, Chino and DDG. And they wanted to holler at these girls. So I was like, y'all want to holler at the girls? They were like, yeah, let's come on, come on, come on. So me... I wasn't trying to holler at nobody. I was just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to meet new people, you know, do new stuff, go to parties, and just chill, right? So, Chino went to go get Saria, and DDG went to go talk to Kennedy, and then there was all the other girls there. So, I just started talking and making conversation. You know what I'm saying? And then we was like, oh, we're going to go to Six Flags soon. Do you guys want to come? They was like, yeah, we'll come. So, you know what I'm saying? DDG was not at Six Flags with me, Kennedy, Chino, and Saria. He was supposed to come, right? So, in my head, now this is how you know I'm a real friend. DDG, back in VidCon, that was probably like, I want to say, a couple days after VidCon or a couple weeks that they went to the, uh, the Six Flags. And I was thinking in my head, like, DDG went this girl. So, I'm not going to uh, try to attempt to, you know, do anything funny because that's my boy and that's the girl he want and that's the girl he achieving for. So me 
being a friend, you know, I was just having fun with everybody. I was being another friend, tagging along, having fun. Sheena was with Saria. I was, you know, chilling with Kennedy, you know, so that DDG could come over, you know what I'm saying, and do his thing. So that, so then when DDG had came after everybody was having fun and stuff, you know, we had went to this, um, this little, uh, bubblegum place. I don't know what it's called, but it was a seafood place. And then DDG was like, yo, he was like, yo, you, you messing with her? I was like, nah, bro. Nah, bro. That's all you. And he was like, damn. That's when he realized like, yo, you a real dude. Like. I'm not shysty like some people. <coughs> Mystic. Um, um, yeah, um, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I won't be the sneaky one to try to like get a girl from somebody when I know that they want them. I literally just chill and just have fun. Let my boy, you know, do what he got to do with that. And yeah, but I see a lot of people, you know, hating on me and they be talking about, oh, you so ugly. You don't deserve your girl. Let me tell you something. How am I ugly, but I got an exotic girl? Hmm? My girl Savage. How about you stop hating and you get a, you know, you get an exotic girl so that people can talk about you too? How about you do that? <laughs> Let's finish the video. So he he ended up going with Chino because Chino orchestrated. Oh, let's go to Universal Studios or whatever. So they went to Universal Studios, and it was him, Nix, and Kennedy, Saria, and them, blah, 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 blah. And then I pulled up after they was done. You know what I'm saying? I had stuff to do. I had to edit and stuff. You're right. So I wasn't able to be there. And I'm like, dang, Nix took my girl or whatever. But then I showed. Bro, you know what I'm saying? I would never do any shy anything shifty like that. You know what I'm saying? If I know that you're going to be late. I'm going to entertain the girl that you want. You get what I'm saying? I'm just going to have fun with everybody and chill and, you know, have a nice, friendly vibe. Now, Kennedy, she's like a sister to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, anytime DDG was with Kennedy and Kennedy needed something, I got it because that's my bro and that's my sis. You get what I'm saying? That's how I treat people. And that's why people respect me and want to be around me. I don't care anything, any negative thing y'all say, bruh. This is the type of friend y'all want. Me? Come on now, I'm a nice guy. I just be chilling. Well, let's let's get back to the clip. Run, two, three, go. What up? And then Nix was like, he's like, look, I already knew you was trying to talk to her, so blah 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 blah. I ain't do, I ain't try to talk to her and nothing like that. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? You real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now this was before there was a DDG and Kennedy. You see that? Now you see that? That's crazy. I'm real. I told y'all that. Come on now. Come on. Now that's not being real right there. All y'all DDG friends, you know what I'm saying? I made it happen for them. Because I ain't no shysty dude. Like some people. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real deal. Okay? I just want to let y'all know that whoever watching, man, make sure you hit, the, hit that subscribe button and keep watching my videos, man, because there's nothing but realness coming through these words of mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm always trying to inspire people, but let's get back to the clip. One, two, three, go. You know what I'm saying? So I need y'all to go spam up Nick's and be like, because, you know, you, you never know. If Nick's would have said, oh, never mind, I'm trying to talk to her, I'm the type of dude to not be territorial. You know what I'm saying? Cause she's not my girl. If you, if she, you know what I'm saying, show any type of liking in you, I'ma bag up. You know what I'm saying? I have no, no place in trying to fight over a girl. You know what I mean? I just wasn't that type of dude. But um, you know what I'm saying? He was real. He told me like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to talk to her or nothing. But and yeah, that's where the story ends right there, man. That's where the story ends. Now, for anybody that's watching, man, I hope y'all enjoyed that video, right, man? Hit that subscribe button, you know? Make sure you subscribe before I knock your ass out. And I'm not playing, man. I knock your ass out, bro. I, I know I smile a lot, but I knock your ass. Stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me. Anyways, man, make sure you're still smiling. Have a good day, man. You know, my black ass, I gotta go. I'm hungry. You know, I, I gotta get some food. 
I don't even know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to have y'all stay here so I can reach these 10 minutes. I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. I hope y'all like the video. Comment down below. I'll write back to you. And uh, I'm out. Deuces. It's better off. Uh, I just told the teller of all. Uh, now my band look like I said it all. Uh, uh, talking to Queen of Teeth. Talking goes like FIFA.